Hi everyone, today we are going to create a simple console application using Open Cascade library. So let's see how to do this in Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2019, you can have different version of it, it doesn't change anything. So we create a new project first. And that's gonna be just an empty project in C++, then Windows, Console, click Next. I am going to give it a name like Hello, open cascade. And now we have an empty solution. So the first thing to do is to add a source file. I go for a new item here. That's gonna be just a main function. So let's have it here. I'm not going to give it any arguments. So let's just return zero to indicate success. And the first thing I'm going to do about Visual Studio settings right away is to have this configuration here as 64. Because I have my Open Cascade installation for this bitness. And now I can compile my empty exercise to check that life is good and everything is configured properly. So let's start to have some modeling here. We can add a first include, which is brep prim api make box. Because what I want to do now is to create a simple solid object, which is a box. And now I have to tell Visual Studio where to look for this file. For that, I need to go to my installation folder with my Open Cascade here. In my case, it's ddemos, this folder. And inside this folder, I have directory inc, which stands for includes. And it contains all the header files of Open Cascade. There are many of them. So I take the path to this folder, go to my project properties here, C, C++, general, additional include directories, and here I specify this folder. Just double check that you have this configuration as debug and platform specified correctly. Now we have this include statement solved, and we can go here inside and check that the header file could be found by Visual Studio. But if I try to compile it now, I will have some linker errors right away. And especially if I try to use this tool, like I create an object of this class, let's call it like mkbox, and give it some dimensions along x, y and z axis. And when we try to access the result using the shape method, which returns const reference to topods shape, which is a main type for all geometries in Open Cascade. Compiling this, I've got tons of linker errors. So basically, to solve them, you need to go and specify all the libraries you link against in the linker options. And actually, you can just enumerate all the libraries of Open Cascade from your installation directory. But that's probably not the best idea because we are not going to use them all. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to include the libraries which are in real use. So I go to the output window, copy the missing symbols over here. And then I'm going to find a library on my disk which exposes those symbols. All the libraries are located in Win64 directory and it, it will be a different directory, it will be Lin64 for Linux. Here I have also a sub, sub, uh, folder for my uh, compiler version. And inside I have four directories, bin, bin d, lib, 
and libd. D means debug. In bin and bind directories, we have all our runtime libraries. And in lib and libd, we have libraries to link against. So I'm going to go to libd because I'm using debug configuration right now. And I'm looking for this library which contains these symbols. And this is a tkernel lib. I go back to Visual Studio. And here in the project properties, I go to linker input and add this tkernel lib to the list of additional dependencies. One more thing I have to do about linker is to specify the folder where all uh, open cascades libraries are located. For that I need to go to general setting and there I have to add this directory into additional library directories. We can now apply and try to compile it again. And we see that there are few more missing symbols. You can search for them using exactly the same trick. Just trying to find the corresponding file on disk. This time it's TK to go. And let's add it also here to the list of our linker dependencies. And one more library to add here is tkprim. I'll let you check it. So now we can compile our project. But if you run it, you will shortly have these missing dependencies. Like there is no tkernel library which could be loaded on launch. To fix that, you can either copy all these missing DLLs to the working directory of your application or the better solution could be to configure your development environment correspondingly. You go to debugging in your project properties and here you have this environment and here you need to define the path variable. So we are not going to change the default path, we just want to add something here. And here we are going to add the full path of our bindd directory. And make sure if you have release mode here, you add not bindd but bin. Here we go. So now I can hit a breakpoint here to check that uh, this code is basically executed. And now I can start debugging. And you see we are inside our main function and we can step into this make box to discover the internals of open cascade so finally we have our shape you can watch it here you see that it's a solid it's initialized this main function will return zero indicating success so basically we are done we have our minimal setting and now you can experiment with different modeling functions of Open Cascade. Read official documentation and have a lot of fun with the library. Bye.